Did you know it's possible to land on Venus without a parachute or even a rocket engine? This unique feature of the planet was discovered by the Soviet Union five decades ago. It was a result of trial and error that finally revealed the truth about the most interesting location in our solar system. This is what the Soviets found when they landed on Venus and why they never went back. Venera is the Russian word for Venus, and also the name of a series of 16 missions that sought to understand, discover, and map out Earth's closest neighbor. Starting in 1961 and extending to 1985, the Venera project sent space probes and satellites to Venus to study the planet and gather more information. While Mars gets all the attention today, Venus was the real deal back in the day. Why? Because we can observe Mars' surface with telescopes, but Venus was a mystery hidden behind thick clouds. If Venus has clouds, it has a dense atmosphere, unlike Mars, which means there could be life. A tropical planet with dense rainforests supporting all kinds of alien life, like a prehistoric Earth. Fascinating, right? Famous astronomer Carl Sagan theorized that Venus's unbroken cloud cover indicated a greenhouse effect gone wild, making the planet a scorched hellscape. The Soviets were determined to find out. In 1961, the Soviets built two probes, Venera 1 and Venera 2. Both flew within 100,000 kilometers of Venus, but failed before reaching their destination. The Americans then succeeded with Mariner 2, confirming Venus's extreme temperatures and dense cloud layers. But the Soviets weren't convinced and doubled down on their efforts. In 1966, Venera 3 crashed into Venus, becoming the first man-made object to hit another planet. Venera 4 in 1967 successfully collected atmospheric data, revealing that descending into Venus is like diving deep into the ocean, with atmospheric pressure so high it could crush metal. The Soviets built tougher spacecraft for Venera 5 and 6, but they met the same crushing fate. Undeterred, they built even bigger and stronger probes. Venera 7, launched in 1970, reached the surface and confirmed the worst. Temperatures of 475 degrees Celsius and pressures 92 times that of Earth's atmosphere. Venera 8 in 1972 successfully touched down and recorded data for almost an hour. The surface temperature exceeded 900 degrees Fahrenheit and the lower atmosphere was filled with sulfuric acid. Despite these harsh conditions, the Soviets pressed on. The Venera 9 and 10 missions in 1975 achieved significant milestones by capturing the first photographs of Venus' surface. These images revealed a barren, rocky landscape unlike anything seen on Earth. Venera 9 transmitted images for 53 minutes before succumbing to the extreme conditions while Venera 10 managed to send data for 65 minutes. These missions provided invaluable insights into Venus's geology and atmospheric composition. Building on their success, the Soviets launched Venera 11 and 12 in 1978. Both missions carried advanced scientific instruments designed to study the planet's atmosphere and surface. While they successfully landed, the harsh environment of Venus limited their operational lifespans. However, they managed to return crucial data, including measurements of the atmospheric composition, which showed a high concentration of carbon dioxide. In 1981, the Soviet Union achieved a major breakthrough with Venera 13 and 14. These probes were equipped with powerful drills to sample the surface material and analyze its composition. Venera 13 operated for an impressive 127 minutes sending back the first color photographs of Venus's surface. These images showed a flat, rocky landscape with reddish hues, providing a stark contrast to the green and blue landscapes of Earth. 
The data collected by Venera 13 and 14 confirmed the presence of basaltic rock, similar to that found on Earth, but with significant differences due to the extreme conditions on Venus. The Venera missions were part of a relentless geopolitical competition between the USA and the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Despite the extreme challenges, the Soviet Union's determination to explore Venus was unmatched. They were driven by the desire to outdo the Americans and prove their technological superiority. The success of the Venera missions demonstrated the Soviet Union's capability to explore and study one of the most inhospitable planets in our solar system. In 1983, the Soviets launched Venera 15 and 16, equipped with advanced radar systems to map Venus's surface in detail. These missions provided the most comprehensive radar images of the planet at the time, revealing features such as mountains, plains, and large volcanic structures. The radar data showed that Venus had undergone significant geological activity, with evidence of volcanic eruptions and tectonic movements. This information was crucial for understanding the planet's geological history and the processes that shaped its surface. Despite the remarkable achievements of the Venera program, the harsh conditions of Venus posed significant challenges. The extreme temperatures, high pressures, and corrosive atmosphere made it difficult for the probes to survive for extended periods. Each mission was a race against time, with the probes designed to gather as much data as possible before succumbing to the planet's hostile environment. The legacy of the Venera missions lives on. They provided a wealth of data that has significantly advanced our understanding of Venus. The information collected by these missions has been used to study the planet's atmosphere, surface, and geological processes. The Venera missions also paved the way for future exploration of Venus, inspiring subsequent missions by other space agencies. To this day, Venus remains a challenging destination for space exploration. Its extreme conditions make it a formidable target, but the legacy of the Venera missions continues to inspire scientists and engineers. The data collected by these missions serves as a valuable resource for future explorations and helps us understand the complexities of our neighboring planet. The Venera missions showed us the power of human curiosity and determination even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. They demonstrated that with perseverance and innovation, we can explore and study even the most hostile environments. The story of the Venera missions is a testament to the spirit of exploration and the pursuit of knowledge that drives us to reach beyond our planet and uncover the mysteries of the universe. So the next time you look up at the night sky and see the bright shining planet Venus, remember the incredible journey of the Venera missions. Remember the engineers, scientists, and visionaries who dared to explore the unknown and revealed the secrets of one of the most enigmatic planets in our solar system. Their legacy continues to inspire us as we strive to unlock the mysteries of the cosmos. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.